This is an arithmetic matrix where each of the circles represents a numerical value. Black circles represent the number 3, and white circles represent the number 1. The placement of the circles also affects the numerical value. Anything above the line is positive, and anything below the line is negative. So let's take a look at our first row of elements. We have a black circle and a white circle, meaning 3 plus 1. We have a two white circles, which would be 1 plus 1. And then we have two black circles, which is 3 plus 3. If we were to simplify all of these, we would have 4 as our element 1, 2 as our element 2, and 6 as our element 3. And then we can see a pattern. 4 plus 2 gives us 6. So we can add our elements horizontally in order to find the element in our third column. Let's try that in row 2. Here we have a negative 3 and a negative 3, so that would be negative 6 total. Here we have two negative 3s and a negative 1, which would be a negative 7 total. And then here we have 3, 6, 9, 12, plus another 1 would give us negative 13. Negative 6 plus negative 7 does give us negative 13, so our logic is still sound. If we also look from top to bottom, once we identify these two elements, two negative ones will give us negative two. A three plus two negative ones will give us negative five. We can see that we can also add vertically. Four plus negative six would give us negative two. Two plus negative seven would give us negative five. So to find our missing element, element seven, we need to either add vertically in our third column or add horizontally in our third row. Six plus negative 13, which would give us negative seven, or negative 2 plus negative 5, which would also give us negative 7. So we need to look for an answer choice that represents the number negative 7. You can eliminate answer choice D and answer choice F because the circles are above the line, making them positive when we really want a negative answer. Looking through the rest of our answer choices, B represents negative 3, which is too small. E has three black circles, which we know would be negative 9, and that's already too big, even before we add on that extra white circle. So between A and C, if we count all of these up, we have 3, 6, 7, 8. This is negative 8. And we have 3, 6, 7, negative 7. It has to be answer choice A.